Summer's almost here. And for lots of you, that means weekends spend damaging it yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, DIY. But before you start tackling those jobs you've been putting off for months, you must be both mentally and physically prepared to work. Whether it's a simple drilling job or fitting a built-in wardrobe, a few tips from yours truly hopefully will get the job done for you successfully and save you from going down a local divorce courts or down a casualty ward. Before you even enter your shed or workshop, I think it's a good idea that you get yourself in the right frame of mind. Take a few moments and a few deep breaths and think about the job in front of you. Think positive thoughts and visualize how you're gonna be a successful DIYer. Negative thoughts breed panic and will result in disaster. Also, maybe write out a plan for the day's actions, setting out your priorities for the day. Right, that's your mind sorted. Now it's time to sort out your workshop, which has been lying dormant for the entire winter. There's no point in starting DIY in chaos, because a messy workplace will result in shoddy work. So let's get cleaning. The workplace is tidy and it's time for a little treat. It's been a busy morning, but before I start work, I like to reward myself with a nice tasty bacon sarnie. Nobody said DIY had to be misery. Rewarding yourself will motivate you and bring you success. You shouldn't even think about touching a power tool until you've got the workshop sorted. My mind's clear and calm. The workshop is clean and ordered. I have all the tools I need, including my DIY multi-purpose vac. Now it's time to get started. DIY is a messy business and I can't stress enough how important it is to clean as you go because if you don't clean up your workspace in no time at all it will be as messy as it was before you started. Job done and I've still got all my fingers intact which goes to show you that with a little preparation, a calm mind and a clean and tidy workshop DIY is that much easier. Now back to the reward. It's time for me to go and put my feet up.